Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Michael, and today's video is featuring the three wands of Mad-Eye Moody. He uses three different wands throughout the series. I just acquired the third, and so I wanted to do a video featuring these three wands. So Alistair Mad-Eye Moody is a, an Auror and a one time a Hogwarts professor, but not really a Hogwarts professor, and a member of the Order of the Phoenix. And throughout the film series, the uh, actor who plays Mad-Eye Moody, Brendan Gleeson, actually used three different wands um, throughout his time as actor for Mad-Eye Moody. One of my friends, Rodney, who is one spell away here on YouTube, uh, talked to the prop master for the Harry Potter film series, Pierre Boana, at one of the um, the exclusive events in the UK, which is where he's located. And uh, I asked him, if you ever get the chance to ask about Moody's wands, I need to know because he there's different wands that are shown as his, and it's pretty confusing to a wand collector being like, so which one is Moody's wand? Um, so Rodney actually asked Pierre Boana about this. And so apparently, Brendan Gleeson, uh, he is a method actor, and so the prop makers uh, just handed him a bunch of wands to say like, hey, which one would you want to use as, uh, as Moody? Which one do you think would be his wand? And give him the choice. Apparently he took all those wands home, and then throughout the series, he would just bring different wands back to the set, and they would just have to go with it because that was the decision he made apparently. Um, so he's got three different wands. So I just acquired the third one and I'm gonna be going through all three of them and showing you Moody's three wands. So the first wand is going to be the wand that he uses in the Goblet of Fire. So in the Goblet of Fire is the first time that we're introduced to Mad-Eye Moody. And he has this tiny little wand that uh, Noble Collection sold um, whenever they were doing the promotional or like the release for the Goblet of Fire movie and they had new wands coming out so it came with the Ollivander's box and it was this wand. So one of the smallest wands out there, I think his and um, Umbridge's are two of the shortest, maybe Madame Pomfrey's and Katie Bell's, I think those are the four tiniest. Um, so a tiny little wand, um, he kind of holds it just right here, kind of like a, like a jabbing finger or like a little pencil or something. It is about the size of like a writing utensil. Um, it's got this little knob on the end and kind Kind of little knobs along the top, um, maybe like an ebony wood or something. Um, since this one's from the Noble Collection, it is made of resin. And um, so this design has actually been discontinued. Noble Collection no longer sells this version of Moody's wand. I don't know why. I reached out to Noble Collection years ago and asked them, like, why isn't this wand the only wand that we actually see Moody ever hold? Um, he uses it in the um, in Forgivable Curses lesson and then he uses it to turn Moody into a uh, Draco into a ferret um, and so that's the only time that we ever see these ones in the other films he just uses his staff to cast a couple spells and that's all we really get we don't see a wand um, but this one is discontinued in the Ollivander's box you can't get it anymore so I got this on eBay uh, and had to pay a shell out for it um, because it's really rare it's really uh, hard to get now so no, yeah, no question doesn't sell this one, even though it is the only one that Moody has ever seen using in the films. And so um, I'm, I'm guessing perhaps because it's so small, it could just be a, a lot more fragile and more prone to breaking. So sometimes they'll discontinue those items like Hermione's first beaded bag because it's so fragile and it's so hard to make that it just falls apart and they have to deal with like returns and all that stuff. So that could be why this is no longer available. That's my guess anyway. So the next one I'm gonna show is the wand that's actually marketed as Moody's Wand now. So this is the one that you can buy from Noble Collection. I didn't get this one from Noble Collection. I get this from Wish.com. Um, so Wish.com is a website you can, there's a lot of wands out there and they're a lot cheaper. You just have to kind of wait for the shipping time. It's just a lot longer and um, sometimes they're lower quality, but I'm really happy with this one. So I was happy to just get this one off of Wish. Um, so this is the one that is actually seen, like you see this as Moody's Wand. If you go to Noble Collection's website, this is the one you're going to see. It's much bigger than this little tiny one. Uh, and But it's a very similar design. It's still got this little knobby area. Um, 
and then the knob is on the top, but then it's much more barky and it has these two silver bands on it. And so Moody never actually, you never see him use this wand. Um, this one just appeared out of the ether. I don't, I don't know where it came from. Um, maybe whenever the, the Noble Collection licensing people were getting together with WB and they were like, hey, which one does Moody's? They said, well, he used, he had this one. Um, maybe there are deleted scenes or something where he uses this wand, but in Order of the Phoenix, he never, you never see this. Um, he only uh, uses his staff tapping that to open up um, a grim old place, and then he uses it to, to smash a, uh, a Death Eater out of the way in the Department of Mysteries battle. Um, so we never see him use this, but apparently he had this on him. So this is the confirmed Mad-Eye Moody wand um, that's, that's available now. So the third one I'm going to share is even more elusive than the second one. Um, you don't see it anywhere in the movies. It's not available for sale online through any licensed retailers. The only place that you actually see this is at the Harry Potter Studio Tour in Leaveston. There is this big display of a bunch of wands all pointed outward uh, in um, one of the areas of the tour. And it's really cool. It's really pretty on like blue velvet. And on that display, labeled as the Mad-Eye Moody wand, is this wand. Um, so that's the only place you actually see that. And so I was very excited to get this wand. This wand is from Jonker Wands on Instagram. And he is a fantastic wand maker who took like painstaking detail to recreate that wand based off just that image from the only place you ever see it, which is at the studio tour, and made this wand for me. Um, he was so nice. Uh, we communicated over Instagram and he told me about his process and the woodworking and everything that he did. It was really cool to work with him and he kindly gifted this to me. So, um, so yeah, so this wand, it has kind of features of the previous two. It has kind of the barky area in the middle, these two metal bands, um, the twisted handle, and then the super knobby thing on the, on the bottom. So <clears throat> it harkens back to the first two, um, where each of them have the knob on the top, and then the bark texture, um, the bands, it's like each of them talk to each other. It's like the prop makers had like similar ideas when they when they sent these home with Moody or, or with Brendan Gleeson. Um, and he just kind of picked up different ones and brought them back to, to set with him. So this wand is the wand that, um, according to Pierre Bowana, um, that he uses in Deathly Hallows Part 1 um, during the uh, Seven Potters uh, motorcycle adventure and all of that stuff. Um, Apparently there's also a deleted scene where he, Moody like repairs his wooden leg with this wand. Um, so that's the only time that he used it, but that's a deleted scene that wasn't even included in anything. So in Deathly Hallows Part 1, this is the wand that he had somewhere on his person. Um, but of course we never saw it, but it is at the studio tour, which I'm glad for because that means that we get to um, enjoy more wand designs, uh, including this one from Jonker Wands. So I definitely encourage you to check out Jonker Wands and his tag will be in the description below. Um, he also makes this wand, the first Moody wand. So he makes this out of real wood. Like this is real wood. This is not like a fragile uh, a resin thing. This is real wood. So it feels much lighter. It feels much nicer in the hand. And he does make this one out of real wood. So if you're looking for this wand, um, the only Moody wand we see in the films, but you don't want to shell out or hunt on eBay for months like I did, um, I definitely encourage you to check out his account and order this or any other wand. Um, he makes tons and tons of different character wands um, uh, and then custom wands if there's something that you want specifically he will work with you the best way to reach out to him is by messaging him on Instagram um, that's where he does most of his business so um, definitely check him out there and uh, thanks for joining me for these tour through the many wands of Mad-Eye Moody um, hope to see you next time if you enjoyed this video give us a like if you really enjoyed it subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can see the next time we post a video and uh, thanks for joining us keep the magic alive and we'll see you next time time. Bye.